Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy's Revenge, 1985, as known as the black sheep of the franchise. But why? Let's talk about it and find out. With the gay theme such as the towel whipping shower scene, and of course the dance by actor Mark Patton, who's actually gay, who's now known as the male scream queen, which is a pretty huge achievement. The actress Kim Myers, who plays just his girlfriend, looks very similar to Meryl Streep. Even though she's not, she's a pretty good actress. As far as the movie itself, Freddy, unlike the rest of the films, he doesn't manifest in nightmares. Instead, he uses Jesse's body as a vessel to walk amongst the current Elm Street. A lot of fans do hate it for that reason and I do understand because that's easily the most creative and original and best qualities of that character. When you take that away, there's really not much left. That being said, I still like where they're going with the story. I would have Detective Donald come in, Nancy's father, to um, interrogate Jesse. I think that would be an interesting way to take it. As he is interrogating Jesse, um, it sounds all too familiar to the murders that played Elm Street, thus connecting his character to the story, the past, um, repeating itself with also Rod um, being assumed as Tina's killer, Nancy's best friend. I think that would have been a great way to add to the story that's already been told, but then given more depth to the characters, and then how it ties into the original. One of my first fan films I've done, I don't want to my soul to take, a representation of that idea, and I'll leave that in the description for y'all to watch as well. In this second installment, they rushed out just a year later in 1985. They had a lot of potential, but for the most part, I actually like it. It's the last sequel before it became a cartoon, and just over the top. And as I said, I really liked where they were going with this idea, but they could have went a lot further with it. But the major downfall is that it's missing the nightmare aspect. But you do have some really good practical effects for the time. And the transition, Jesse almost evolving like a werewolf, unable to control his inner demons. The deaths are also more grounded. Without the dream sequences, there's very little room for creativity. And without the sets and strong color palettes, there's a lot more that is left to be desired. But Freddy was taken seriously, and that's a huge step in the right direction. The best part about this sequel is how it's still dark and feels like an actual continuality of the original. And it fits, it doesn't feel out of place, and the comedy isn't forced like in the later sequels. It's still very um, dark and gritty, and it's a sequel that I actually acknowledge. So there's that. Um, that's my review for Freddy's Revenge. Um, I like it more than others, so. Uh, what do you think about it? Where does it fall in the ranking? Thank you for watching and please subscribe.